For decades, a French documentary filmmaker has made his home in Japan. Etienne Barrel has shared what he's learned about Japanese culture with people elsewhere. He usually focuses on subcultures he finds in cities, but now he's headed out to the countryside to document a growing trend in art. Bonjour à tous, Etienne Barrel aujourd'hui avec vous pour vous présenter les... Journalist and documentarian Etienne Barral has lived in Japan for 28 years. Through his films and books, he has been introducing Japanese culture to people in foreign countries. Barral's documentaries deal with urban subcultures. Most of his work has been about people who are obsessed with anime and manga or robots. But Baral thinks the hottest trend in Japanese culture right now is... Rice paddy art, uh, which is made out of uh, rice. On a vast tambo or rice paddy, viewers can gaze at nymphs and figures from history. They're made with rice plants of different shades and colors. The idea fascinated Baral. It's uh, so something that you wouldn't expect uh, when you first uh, hear about it. Uh, it's something that's really different from the other cool things that you can get uh, out of Japan now. So this year, Baral decided to make a documentary about the art. For a whole year, he traveled around the country documenting the creation of Tambo art. In May, Baral visited a rice paddy to film the planting. To create the image, the planters position each seedling in just the right spot. Baral learned that it wasn't professionals who created the art, but local farmers and volunteers. For this kind of art, summer is the most challenging season. Not even heat waves keep the villagers from tending to the paddies. The locals have to be vigilant, as a typhoon or uneven growth can ruin a design. Baral was impressed by the locals' attention to detail and authenticity. The design was meticulous, so I wanted to express even the small nuances. Baral learned that a local draftsman determined where each rice seedling is planted. He used 3D software images, and if all went well, the tambo art would also be three-dimensional. Oh, I think it's incredible, just the fact that they can get all the different colors of different types of rice out there, and that they can get it planted so precisely. Finally, in autumn, the tambo art, the result of back-breaking work by villagers, quickly disappears. It's harvest time. Baral says the tambo images represent Japan's unique aesthetic. It's something that lasts only for a moment. Like uh, in the um, in the spring, you have uh, cherry blossom viewing. The second one is that uh, it is something that you cannot possibly do on your own. You have to be a whole group. And uh, this is also something that makes it very Japanese. After visiting 15 Tambo art sites in a year, Baral discovered just how cool Japan's countryside can be. And now he's putting the finishing touches to his film. Just amazing work there.